Hi YouTubers, thanks for tuning in to Ants Innovations. We hope to inspire you to enjoy life no matter what it throws at you. And if you have an idea, then just go for it. Don't put anything on the back burner so you don't regret not doing what you could have done. Karen is sharing, so please do so and like and subscribe. Oh, last video. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to take the uh, um, the back diff off. Look at that crap in this man. I mean, it was empty when I got it, and I uh, I put new oil in it. But have a look at this. Look at that. Jesus. Hope the one that I'm putting on hasn't got all this crap in it. That's some <laughs> Don't think it's, uh, it's never had a clean out in all the time, but it's uh, been running 60 years ago. Mm. Jumping oh, again. I'm just so pleased I took this off. Um, I mean, look at that. What the looks like old gasket, I think. Yeah, magic. Right, that'll be getting a uh, chip washed out. I'll just put it and um, make a plate to put around this. Um, there's the gear and out the yeah, uh, out the diff. It's a ton of weight that one. So as I say, a lot of that weight um, getting lost because this isn't going on. I'll keep this as a spare because I'll probably be able to get it adjusted. Um, I'll not be able to do it myself. You need specialist gear like the take backlash up and stuff um, it's got to be at specific low torques and whatever else according to the videos anyway but it'd be good as a spare that if anything um, I actually thought there was gearing um, in here fixed like a um, like a sun if you like um, but there's not so that's good because that means literally this is just to house the parts uh, so it's got no use having a spare one of these um, that's basically what you need a spare one of because that's got all the gearing on it so it works out well a lot less the um, room it takes up when I'm uh, housing it somewhere right anyway so the drive shaft uh, these got lubricated by the oil out of out of that. Basically, ran through the centre there where the drive shaft's gone. Uh, obviously, with splash, there's uh, the car was driving. Because I don't, because I'm uh, not connecting these drive shafts up. I basically just need to cut them off there, um, and that's it. So yeah, there's quite a bit of weight in these as well. The heavy stuff like. So, uh, yeah, cut that off there. In fact, hold on. Just trying to see, there's another barren surface there. But that must go in the side of. Ah, oh, it does. That other barren surface goes inside of that. Um. Which obviously I'm not going to have, so that'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be able to cut that drive shaft off there. Then I'll just pack these full of grease because obviously it won't be getting oil. Um, what was this? Temporary seal up wrong, which is obviously bust. That's why it was leaking. Um, yeah, anyway, that's that. Ciao for now. Morning, guys. <coughs> Cracking on again today come up with a problem or well, what would have been a problem had I have cut this uh, drive shaft 
So as I say, I was going to cut the drive shaft off here, so I can do away with all that. Yeah, and just have this bearing on. But having a look at the bearings, just normal, uh, normal bearing race. They're not tapered, so therefore it's not going to be able to take any downward load or uh, horizontal load, if you like, or radial load. So, so this basically. That barren surface there keeps the shaft central. So when the shaft is central, then it's only you know it's only horizontal load um, that it's got to the barren. If I cut it off there and just leave that barren on, because it's going to have you know that that radial load, then it's going to straight away or in short order anyway. So I need to keep the drive shaft. So I need that bearing surface still on, which is on here. Now, when I've looked at this, this part here is actually snapped. Well, the hairline crack in it. Um, basically went went on there and bolted through, but you can see it's snapped. Don't know how that's happened, but anyway, what I was thinking was take this off and leave this barren surface on cut this down there because this is basically cast onto this it's all one part but I can't get this bearing out it must be a tool or something you put inside in the holes to be able to pull the bearing which will take all of this out now because I haven't got that what I'm planning on doing because this is knackered anyway I mean that's enough to hold the bearing on it's no problem at all that and it's just to rest the uh, the end of the drive shaft in there so it's central so what I'm going to do is cut this down here and then across there so basically I'm just left with that little bit and I can bolt this back on so once, once I've basically cut that there I'll be able to take this bearing out which will allow us to take that out it's the only way I can do it and it'll do the job so anyway it might sound a bit um, naff but you hopefully you get the idea right it is what it is right I'll get my angle grinder out and start um, <coughs> start cutting away at this it's only cast like so it's a nightmare cast like just splinters up and everything but uh, I should get through it Right, ciao for now. The way I go to get my angle grinder, put my air compressor on. I thought I'd best get the electric one because I'll be here all day. It's not great um, cutting cast with a disc, but it goes through, it's just a bit, yeah, it's a bit naff. Uh, anyway, ciao for now. Right, took some cutting, <coughs> but I'm done. So there we go, that's all I needed. So one of them each side, put back on, shafts can go back through. Nice and simple. Top of the ears. Job for now. Oh, there we go. Kind of thick stuff to cut through, like. There's the main centre bit. Magic. read so I decided just to uh, join it to there which would be fine but because this is just aluminium I've had to basically um, cut it inside I cut it on an angle and I was going to drill through here and bolt it on there and I left long bits on in fact I'll pull it out so you can see You see on there, I've left um, long tabs, if you like, down the side, so I can drill and bolt into here. But I'm just thinking, we're just this just being aluminium, it's not going to be very strong. So I might just take this up to the fabricators. Um, there's one at Tudor. 
and just get them to weld on a, a solid metal box section to follow the same profile as this and weld it onto this solid then with bolts and that um, and not worrying that because all the stress will basically be on this bit here and it's only thin aluminium and I'm just f fearful that that might sort of start giving which I can't afford to happen so might as well get welded up uh, properly as I say get some box section put on here to follow this profile get that bolted back onto the top of there and then that's it it'll be top dollar so that'll be that uh, I can do away with all that now more aluminium to weigh in um, as for the rest I haven't done anything with the shell today I took all the cover off and everything but um, that's what I'm going to start and do now uh, start and fill all them walls in on them sides there try and get the inside done and then uh, tomorrow I might be able to get all the inside sprayed so yeah, uh, right, that's what I'll crack on my next I'll have a bit of a tidy up like tools are all over the place <gasps> as you do yeah uh, I've still got the cover here yeah, which I'll still use once I get this tow bar sorted out but um, yeah coming on well coming on well I've got all the brakes to build up on this as well and the brake cables to put through ready to join to the uh, uh, to the actuator at the front but yeah, I can do that at any point really build the brakes up to me chow that
do it, but there'll be a way, I know that for sure. One thing I have been looking at is maybe he's trying to uh, go out of tradition and rather than having it hitting the face of the tyre is it pushes in on the sidewall. Now again it depends on when I put this shell on. Uh, I might be able to mount the motor this side and it pushes up against the sidewall because if you have a look at the sidewall it's got quite a large bulge on here which would be great because then I'd be able to push in on the sidewall rather than on the on the tread and that would also keep the weight because they're both 35 40 kilograms here the big motors and if I did mount it in the back here well, it's already back heavy so I'm just adding more weight to the back whereas if I had them on the side it's more concentrated into the center of the axle so I wouldn't have to counterbalance much more weight on the front to counteract the weight of these. Yeah, so better the weight in near the axle than, you know, potentially right out here. Yeah. Anyway, enough. I'm gonna. Yeah, I've got a. Yeah, tap the cover off this. Bought some more spray glue so I can. Um, get me metal gauzes in place and then do some more fiberglass and then as I say I'm still hopeful I'll be able to get this thing uh, or the inside sprayed uh, hopefully today hey uh, that's the plan Joe for now yeah she's hooked on I use me uh, my tone dolly just to um, get it strapped on so I've got a tow bar does nicely happy day so that's that Looking pretty legal, Put me lights on, good to go, so I'll tow this down to Tudor now, um, never know, they might get it done today, might not like, hopefully they'll keep hold of it because um, I don't fancy bringing it back, uh, anyway that's it, so I'll get this took over there, get them to sort the uh, tow bar bit out, and then when I get this back, the shell can get put back on this. Happy days, job for now. Well, I'm back. So they didn't keep it, they had no room. Uh, however, take it across Monday, they'll sort it out for us. So, just means the weekend I can't get the uh, shell put back on the chassis. Not the end of the world, like. So I'm gonna tap this, the cover off, uh, cover off now. Start some more fiber glassing. Some more bodywork done in preparation for that. Um, as I say, it drives off in half an hour, there's not that much to do really, it's just a bit fiddly, so who knows, I may, may get it sprayed tonight. Uh, if not, it'll be tomorrow, wind's meant to pick up a little bit tomorrow, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay for spraying uh, all the inside. And then, it's just the outside to do, which will take a bit more prep work, because um, I've got all the proper filling and sanding to do. Um, it does, again, doesn't have to be perfect because it's getting wrapped as we know. So, but as long as it's out of there, about. But uh, I've got the proper uh, filler for that rather than the fiberglass stuff. Fiberglass stuff's good for um, rough and ready and just lash it on. Um, but yeah, for the outside, it's a bit, bit like stuff like that. Yeah, that'll be yeah. Uh, that'll be done with uh, filler and a bit rubbed down. Right. Um, that's it. Update later, guys. Yeah, happy fry tag. Wet day. This is all strapped down. 